What's going on guys and welcome back to The Walking Dead. Season 2 episode 8 is here today and I know you guys must be wondering what has been going on, why The Walking Dead has been up. Um, but if you guys have been keeping up to date and watching the channel updates, you would know what was going on. I was in the process of moving and now i'm in a new place pretty much the same setup but in a new place <laughs> and it's it's been cool it's been cool anyways um trying to get everything back on track i was still putting out videos when i got time everything was off schedule everything was off schedule um but it's just that i couldn't get around to doing most of the shows that I wanted to do at the time I didn't um, Peaky Blinders was down um, I could have sometimes I did um, get a chance to like record stuff and then something would just come up you know what I'm saying so it's like or I'm just too tired to do it you know and as I've said in the past like these shows are sometimes they're on the back burn burner because they're not necessarily like the most viewed show shows on the channel. You know, I did Chernobyl the other day um, because, you know, people have been telling about me since it aired. People have been telling me about it. It was only five episodes, so I just knocked it out. So that kind of pushed, um, pushed um, Walking Dead and Peaky Blinders to kind of like the backside during the week because I just, I think I knocked it out in like a week, I think. So... Um, so we're going to jump into this, man. We already know what's going on in The Walking Dead. Um, if you don't know, go back and watch the last episode. Um, watch the last reaction and come back here if you don't know what's going on. I know a lot of people, they've watched, they must have watched, binge watched the crap out of this show already. Okay, so they finally found Sophia and she's a walker. Okay. She's a walker. Um, she's dead. She's become a zombie it's it was a very omg moment of course because all this time you know we were they built it up so we had hope that she was still alive you know what i'm saying things that they were found the church the house you know what i'm saying like all of that stuff and then it turns out that she was in that damn barn the whole damn time I, that's the last thing I expected. I'm telling you the God honest truth, guys. That is the last thing I expected. I did not expect them to wrap up her storyline like that because of how long. I mean, it was basically from the beginning of this. I think it was like the second episode of the season that she that she went missing. It was, you know what I'm saying? So it's like five, six episodes. I was like, they need to wrap up this storyline because it's kind of dragging a bit. But the payoff was awesome. The payoff was awesome in a good way, show way. I'm not saying her dying is a good thing, you know. Um, so I was very shocked. And, and, and this is the reason, like, at the end there when Rick um, shot her, right? When Rick shot her. It was at that moment you realize that he's the leader because none of them, nobody else there. They were all shooting all the other people that had no connection to them. See, and that was a whole, another premise too, where it's like when it's, when, when it's other people's people, it's very easy to, to pull that trigger. But when it's your people, oh, all of y'all don't want to do nothing, right? So when it was Sophia, none of them wanted to shoot him. To shoot her but rick stepped up and shot her in the head and that and 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 that's what i'm saying man it just goes to show you like this whole time they were like how can they how can herschel be doing this and blah 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 but that's his people and so now you understand the con that connection when it's somebody you know and you know been around for a long time you know it's harder to pull the trigger on that to end that per person's life it's very hard and it, it, it's tough you see you know and that i don't want to hear nobody contesting whether rick can lead them or not now because 
he's shown that he can step up and make those tough decisions before even before Sophia. So now it's all on him. Now we're going to see what is going to be the aftermath of that. And I'm all for it. So let's jump into episode eight, man. You already know. Link is down in the description. Go watch the reaction and come back here. I'm going to post it. Um, I'm going to try to have some highlights for you guys on BitChute. If I can, if I can do that, I will. But you already know the full reaction is going to be on the Google Drive. So let's go watch this, man. I'm hyped. Let's get it. I'll see you back here for the review. All right. So this was a great, great, I have to say one of the best one of the best episodes of the season to be honest because the aftermath of Sophia you know the emotions the actors they did a really good job of showing those emotions is Shane still on his bullshit um apparently Maggie's in love with Glenn that was kind of quick <laughs> but it is what it is Herschel reverting back to drinking because of what happened um there's so many different things that people could be feeling in in this episode so many emotions going around different emotions anger denial you know regret all of these different emotions that these characters are feeling right now they're all warranted it's all comprehensive right so we have um when it comes on to rick's character i think is the one that stands out the most in this episode because it shows the type of person he is um from a leadership standpoint you guys know that He's my guy. I like how he moves. I like the way how he makes decisions. And people who are always in that position, they're always kind of like brooding, blaming themselves. Kind of reminds me of Jon Snow in a certain way because they're always like they make these decisions, but then they're but then they're like, but there's still this that I can't really help. But you see, the thing is, what great leaders and people who are like that. Um, they always tend to, um, they care about everything so much going well. And in, in, in a certain way, their um, perfectionist um, personality, it's like they want to help everyone. They know they can't help everyone. So that results in them brooding, um, having, re having regrets, blaming themselves for stuff that happened. Um, when they make one decision and then something else happens, they keep... You know what I'm saying? They will blame themselves for that happening too, which is as you see in this episode where Rick was kind of blaming himself for, you know, you know, this happened, but I couldn't take care of this. I couldn't do that. Um, as I said, man, I didn't want anybody to be questioning him because at this point they should actually understand that Rick is going to make those tough decisions. Um, him going for her show now freaking um what's her name is freaking turned over in some car because she decides to go after rick she decides to go do something stupid and then now you know what everybody's gonna say you can't leave because when you leave shit happens and and in all respect where the hell is she going why is she why does she feel the need to go out there and get him i don't know you know what i'm saying <sighs> She really gets on my nerves sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I love the fact that Daryl called her olive oil. <laughs> that was hilarious. Even though I didn't really laugh at it, but I got the joke. She really does kind of look like a olive oil from Popeye. If you guys know the character. Um, so it's it's a trade-off. So, um, of course... Sophia's mom, she is in, she, she's in a state of acceptance, but at the same time is, is she's really sad, um, about her daughter. So, um, you have Dale with the, <laughs> with the prognosis of Shane, you know, he, he, he's speaking the truth. He's like, listen, man, he all but tell me that he killed Otis. So. I'm just putting two and two together and say, I, I think this dude sacrificed Otis, you know, because he knows how to deal with walkers. So 
I do. We know that that's what happened. You know, we know that that's what happened, but they don't know for sure that that's what happened. So I'm looking forward to the next episode, man. Um, hopefully I can get that out on time next week. Who knows? I might do an extra episode over the weekend. Who knows? But we'll see what happens. So thank you guys for watching as always. Um, as always, man, it's, it's always great to come back to the show and, and really fall in love with them all over again. You know what I'm saying? So after, you know, a long break or whatever, um, it's always good to come back, especially when you have good episodes like this to come back to. You just remember, oh, shit, the show was really, really good. <laughs> right. So thank you guys so much for watching, man. Just remember um, to to like and leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new, subscribe to the channel, man. I'll make sure um, that we're back on schedule next week with two episodes per week. And we'll see how things go. Thank you guys for watching. As always, it's your boy Terry by React. And I will see you guys for episode 9 next time. Peace.